today is the biggest auction day in Sydney ever. What a result, 3.5 million. 4.9 million. Website's frozen, it's frustrating, absolutely frustrating. I started Cooley Auctions in 2003. We actually called it ResCom Auctions in the beginning. Sounded like a good idea at the time. It was residential and commercial auctions, ResCom Auction Services. And then it changed to Cooley Auction Services um, and then Cooley Auctions. And we're literally just about to rebrand to Cooley. But we've been open now, what, well, since 2003, so 18 years. That sounds like a really long time. Maybe that's why I'm starting to get a few more grey hairs. <laughs> so it's cool to be en route to the car wash. Presentation has always been a key for me. Like I get my hair cut every two weeks. I get my car wash twice a week. I polish my shoes once a week. And that all adds to feeling good about myself. And if I feel good about myself, then that's when I find that I get the best results for the people that I'm selling for. And that's why one of my rituals is getting the car washed every Saturday morning. Um, I did an interview with Kate recently on how the market's going and today's actually going to be a, a monster day in the Sydney property market. There's 1,180 properties scheduled to go to auction and that's a record for Sydney ever. Absolutely what that means is real estate will be hot topic today and there'll be a lot of press out, a lot of news crews. It's really fun and, and I hope one of the things that that we really see today is the enjoyment and the passion that, that I have for conducting auctions, um, putting a smile on people's faces and, and um, not only selling properties for great prices, but also doing it in a really respectful way to the buyers. <laughs> Morning. So, have you, uh, Liam, have you got the run sheet there? Because our first auction's at nine. It's a good house, really good house. Good family home, that. <laughs> this is the uh, unconventional way of getting up and checking the eggs. Check it out. Breakfast. So Sam, today, today is the biggest auction day in Sydney ever. 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 Wow, wow. ever. So, Social is going to be really important to make yep. sure Cooley Social yep. is up and running. Ah, right ah, 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 ah. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to our auction today. Damien Cooley is my name on behalf of Cameron Ely. Uh, Cameron and Eva, our marketing agents, we'd like to welcome you all here to today's sale. If you are intending on bidding, you need to register. So bids at $4 million, register bid at number eight, 100,000 minimum bid, not taking less than 100. The bid is at $4 million, sir. Okay, I'm making a vendor's bid at 4,500,000, and that's the bid now, bid 4.5 million. And the bid is at 4,500,000, not mucking around at this number, 4.6. 4,600,000. So bids at 4,600,000. We're just going to have a discussion with our highest bidder. We're going to let them know where we need to be to be able to sell this property at auction this morning. And they're going to have the opportunity to buy it right away. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we have an increased bid to $4,750,000 with our register bidder number eight and our owner's instructions are to sell it. So the bid is here at $4,750,000. The bid's on the right hand side at $4.75 million. Sir, is there any further? At $4,750,000, a new Malabar record at $4,750,000. So. I'll let you wearing the right shirt. Go the rabbit. Go the bunnies. <laughs> so we were able to get 4.6, and then Cameron used the reserve, which which was set really high today. He used that reserve. Um, it was an unrealistic figure. It was too much. It was too high. But he used that reserve as a negotiation tool to get the buyer up, um, and they eventually increased the bid to 4,750,000. We got it on the market and it sold. Bang, new Malabar record. Great result. To me, that's 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 a challenging auction, but it's a challenging auction that was negotiated very well. 
and we got the right price for the owner and the purchaser bought an outstanding property. Everyone's happy and it was a great result. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to our auction today. Bidders at 2 million, 100,000 bid once at 2.1. First call at 2.1. Second call at 2 million, 100,000. Third, final, all done. So bidders at $2,100,000. Thanks for your patience here, folks. All done. Folks, we're gonna set it aside in the vendor's favor at $2,100,000. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who did register, please do make yourself known to Cameron. Uh, we'll let you know the instructions moving forward and we'll endeavor to sell it very soon. We hope you all have a great afternoon. Thank you. There's obviously a traffic issue on auction now that there was so many people probably logging onto the platform early at this time that has caused a jam and its website's frozen. It's frustrating, it's absolutely frustrating. But it's amazing technology, you know. The, the beauty of auction now is that people can watch, register, bid, buy and exchange on live property auctions from any device anywhere in the world. But it's just sometimes, if there's a lot of people looking at the site at the same time, the tech team need to make sure that they have enough bandwidth to make sure that it can handle the amount of traffic going to the site. Blake's, it, Blake's, it. Blake's onto it. He's just tweaked. He's just tweaked the servers or whatever. He's I don't know. This is tech talk. Yeah. <laughs> bandwidth. bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one good thing about Realtor is that they've got the right tech team on board that can handle a situation like that yeah. instantly. You know, there's a problem, it's sorted within one, two minutes. It's a stressful time because people have auctions got running, there are auctions finishing, and people are stressed because there's something's wrong with the platform. The platform was just fixed in two, three minutes, done. So this auction that we're having now um, in Kensington, we don't have any registered bidders. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a vendor's bid, pass it in. And by doing that and running the auction, we have auction conditions until midnight tonight, which means that if a buyer makes an offer at some point today, then Tony can exchange the property with no cooling off. Short and sweet. All done, okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will set the home aside in the vendor's favor at 1,265,000. We appreciate your attendance and we hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you. Um, I think the, the beauty about running it today is that if somebody does make an offer yep. today, we can exchange it without a cooling off period. Exactly. Any time up until midnight tonight. Yep. Yeah, anyway, okay. so thanks again. For next opportunity. Yes, yeah, exactly. Thank yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, we passed two properties in today, and both owners haven't been disappointed with passing them in. I think that's really indicative of how strong the market is. I mean, it's disappointing not to sell them today, but I think the market's strong enough that they will absolutely sell in the next seven to 14 days. Buyers will make a phone call now to the agents and say, what did it sell for? And, and when the agent tells them it didn't sell, they're more inclined to come back and make an offer. So we're on our way to Kensington Road, number 16. And we're on Kensington Road. This is gonna be a cracking auction, this. This is David Lee's listing. They are a good family friend. G'day, how are you going? Good, thanks. Good. Dave, how are you? Properties are selling not only above their reserve prices, but well above their reserve prices. 16 Kensington Road, who'd be happy to open the bidding this morning? At 2,800,000, third, final. 2,950,000 dollars. Sir, we make it 3 million, yes? 3 million dollars. Here's the offer at 3,500,000 for an outstanding home here in Kensington. Once, twice, third all done at 3.5 million dollars. Bidding, So, Congratulations, ma'am and sir. Congrats, thank you very much. Congrats. What a result, 3.5 million, amazing. Look, I try hard at every single auction, but you can't help but feel that emotion when you know that you know the person or they're related to you. 
So it was really, I was really pleased to get them a great result today and they, they clearly appreciated it. Yeah, the market's so strong at the moment. It's the strongest market that we've seen ever. I mean, when you can, when you can borrow money at less than 2% for three to four years, you've got certainty with your repayments. Buyers have the ability to borrow more because the servicing rates are lower. Naturally, the market is going to boom. I don't think anyone expected it to boom as much as it is right now, but we can expect to see this price growth for quite some time yet. Yep, now this is for Eddie Reed. Um, this is an agency auction. Uh, Matt LaHood and Jeff Lucas are both gonna be at this auction. I want both of those guys walking out of this auction being really impressed with the service that we provide, helping Eddie with registrations and the good quality auction and the result will take care of itself. Good morning, welcome to our auction today. Homes here to be bought, folks. So shout out the number, it can be low and fast, I don't mind where we started. 4,575, yes? 4,575, the bid's here. 575, sir. 5, 8. 4.6, 90, 4.6, sir. 590 is here, 4.6 million, 675. Here's the bid at 4,900,000. Is there any better bid before we sell it? Bidding. So, congratulations, sir. <laughs> Damien Cooley is absolutely <laughs> outstanding at what he does. Has a laser focus on getting the highest outcome, not just most of the time, every single time. I don't think we need a second take. <laughs> and I, hand on heart, try my best every single time. So if you have a good quality agent, good quality property, clearly that's the mix for what's going to be an outstanding result. For us as auctioneers, we, we just get to turn up and put the finishing touches on it. And don't, don't get me wrong, those finishing touches make a big difference. Like the difference between a good auctioneer and a, a not so good auctioneer can be the difference between 50, 100,000, even $5,000. That's the difference I think that really sets us apart in being so good at what we do, is being able to have a great rapport with purchasers, but turn that rapport into extracting the best price for the owner and doing it in a respectful way to the buyer. I really got the impression that the underbidder wasn't going to come in. We're not selling this right now. We need to go try and get more. Best auctioneer I've ever seen. <laughs> that was not, that was not, I did not ask him to do that. Once, twice, third. All done, bidding. 